Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today, we're going to do a quick update on what's going on on the build across the street in the new home build series, and that is our Canadian neighbors directly across from us over here. They're going from a different phase now, they're going from one phase to another. Remember, all the efforts on that build had to do with securing the back of the lot because of the big drop off, building that cistern, building that swimming pool on top of the cistern and all the associated things that have to do with making that a very, very strong build in the back. Well, today we're shifting focus. Today they are moving over to the house, the actual house construction. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. Now, without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now before we actually get too started into what's going on in today's build, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about some of the recording that I did on some of the videos over the past few days. And that has to do with the backfill, a lot of the backfill on the property. Remember where their cistern and their swimming pool is between that area and where the house is going to be built, there was that huge gap inside there where they had to dig down and put all that footer support, all that cast in place retaining wall. They did lots and lots of filling inside there. I think they brought, oh, I'm gonna have to ask the contractor, but I know I saw probably at least six or eight dump trucks that came in and filled that area so that that is part of the levelness underneath the house. Let's go ahead and take a look at what was done.
And well, I just got a message from our Canadian neighbors uh, saying that they're doing a special, a special thing <laughs> uh, that a lot of people do here in the Philippines. Uh, I'm not going to explain it right now because I think you'll get a thorough understanding here in just a moment. Let's head over uh, to the build across the street. So let's take a quick look after they completed the backfill, or most of the backfill. They just have a little bit more, but I think there's some pipes they have to make some connections to. You can see after all the drone shots, all the holes that were done here, which is the footage support for all of the columns that are going to be part of the main structure, the strength of the, the main house. And the main house is going to start right back around this area and work its way all the way to the front up here. So you can see, just as you you will traditionally see in any build that you see over here, uh, you see the rebar, you see uh, what they call biga over here, this right here. And this is going to be the foundation for the footers and the, the footers are connected to the columns that are gonna be on. It's typical, you see that in all the builds that you see over here, uh, but lots and lots of stuff in the ground right now and we'll continue to follow this M main thing when you're building the footer support and the columns uh, at the very bottom the footer support you just want to make sure that you have gravel underneath the bottom of it and at, and that basically and you have to have some type of a lift and you can see the spacers that they have inside there the little concrete spacers so you get the rebar off of the ground you don't want the, re the rebar or the big uh, touching the earth because that that will cause corrosion later on and it will start breaking down your rebar inside your concrete later on and you don't want to do that you want your your construction of your house to have many many years without any fatigue or stress to any of the columns or the beams or the footers that provide all the support to the bottom of your house now i gotta apologize i lost the audio in this clip right here and this was where they were putting the uh, the chicken blood uh, it's kind of a superstitious thing that they have here it's supposed to I think have something to do with good luck and things like that this also and putting money around each one of the the, the foundations of the footage supports in each one of the parts of the building so that's what they're doing here so V what, what's for dinner tonight uh, what's for dinner? <laughs> chicken <laughs> we have painting points we have um, uh, we have British coins British and we have uh, euro coins Australian. Oh, we have Australian. close from right here in the pavilion over here at Villa Feliz. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was a good way to see how tradition and how superstition all kind of works into building process over here in the Philippines. Uh, also, you got to see a lot that had to do with the backfill. We got to see them putting the uh, steel uh, reinforcement support inside the ground for the main house. 
because uh, we're kind of done with most of the swimming pool area on the back. We'll see some more with that because there has to be an attachment from the swimming pool patio area or the swimming pool uh, slab area that goes to the back of the house. Uh, and we'll catch up on that on another episode as they start doing that. Uh, but today was actually the first episode that had to do with anything had to do with the main house part of the structure. So we want to follow this in a chronological order that kind of makes sense. And I hope it does to you. Uh, well, that's it. Again, that's it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed. And uh, to be notified, you just ring that bell and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time from right here in the beautiful Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>